Well, Christine and her children are teaching her daughter, Truly, how to ride a bike. Hello, Truly. <laughs> we flash back to Truly getting taught how to ride a bike by her dad uh -huh. the first time, which was traumatic. Mm -hmm. Cody said that Truly wasn't connecting to the experience and didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. He said he was pushing her. Mm -hmm. When Tru And Christine says when Truly says she's done, she's going to finish for the day and, and let her have it. Yeah. Christine talks to Truly afterwards and tells her how good she progressed and she was really encouraging. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of see the uh, juxtaposition between Cody and Christine and how they go about the bike riding experience. Yeah. Um, how can I say this without sounding crazy? I actually don't see a problem with how both of them dealt with their parents and styles. Mm -hmm. Kids, when something's hard, they don't want to do it. And um, when Cody was first r teaching her how to ride the bike, um, the only thing that I would um, criticize his style on is you have to learn how to pivot. Mm -hmm. So if if even though everything he said, he said it's going to be hard, you're going to fall. Like, you know, I understand that. Um, once you see your kid is not responsive to that teaching, you have to. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Um, pivot and learn a way to connect. It's not so much that she didn't connect to the experience. You didn't connect to her. Right. You get what I'm saying? He always put in the responsibility on the on some, on some Forget the child. Anybody. Yeah. It could be the dog. It could be the, it, it could be anybody. That's mm -hmm. not him. So he's like, she didn't really connect to the experience. That's why she don't know how to ride a bike. Yeah, he was like, she didn't want to do it. Yeah. She was what? Six? <laughs> Listen here. <laughs> <laughs> she may not want to do it in the moment, but oh well. Exactly. Like, like you said, pivot, go about it a different way, exactly. communicate with her differently, try to get her into it. Exactly. So. And, but to give criticism to Christine, Christine way wasn't uh, effective either. Mm -hmm. Christine didn't teach her how to ride a bike. I think her friend did Mitchell. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And he said it himself or basically, or basically she, she gave a, a comment saying that somebody said there's too many cooks in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Basically saying yeah, like, Mitch was saying like it, less it, voices, please. like like less voices, basically. Yeah. And he, she said, "I felt like that was like directed at me." You know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, it was mm -hmm. because you can be overbearing sometimes, even with good intention. Yeah. Even though you can be like, you know what? I if she if 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 she wanted to end today, we will end it today. Mm -hmm. And it kind of shows the, like you said, the the differences between the two, even the differences between you know some mothers and some fathers and things like that. To where sometimes you need that male presence because that male presence is supposed to give protection. Mm -hmm. Basically, saying if, if if a mother says that, and I'm just giving an example based on how I was raised. If a mother says that you're going to fall, right? Um, that scares me as a kid. Mm -hmm. because I don't believe or I wasn't taught based on how, you know, societal has taught us and stuff like that, that mother's supposed to protect us from the fall. Mm -hmm. But if a father says, like, you fall, I got you. Yeah. I feel more safe. I feel more secure because it's like it's not the fall that, that I'm scared of. It's the fact that I might get hurt yeah. when I fall. So just seeing the stranger guy, I don't know who Mitchell is, Cody, that you, that's supposed to be you walking your daughter with the bike. You, you supposed, that's supposed to be a symbolism or an allegory. I just learned that word this week, guys, that like you supposed to be walking side by side with your daughter or with your children or with your wives that if they do fall off the bike, you got them, you got them. But you know, that's not Christine's <laughs> responsibility. Christine's mm -hmm. responsibility is to tell the truth. You will fall, but we're not going to put the burden on Christine that if she falls, that she that she's put a protector, things like that. Like, of course, mother's going to protect their kids. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about as the patriarch and what you believe in your religious beliefs as the guy, you're supposed to be walking side by side with your kids and you're supposed to connect with your kids, not put it on the child's responsibility to connect with you, but you're supposed to connect with your kids and walk side by side and protect them if they fall. Mm -hmm. That is deep. I feel like y'all should subscribe just for that alone. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Is this the last scene? Yes, it is. Let's go.